How's it going everyone? Byron here with Riders Domain. Today we're taking a look at the HJC IS-33-2. Now the IS-33-2 is a pretty sophisticated open face helmet that starts around 150 bucks. The outer shell is an advanced polycarbonate composite material and in total this extra large example we have here weighs out at 3 pounds 4 ounces. One of the nice touches of the 33-2 is this optically correct face shield out here. As you can see, uh, it's nice and big. Now, in addition to keeping you protected from bugs and rocks and stuff like that, uh, this shield is going to keep you protected from about 95% of UV rays. And if you want to upgrade to a different tint, HJC has a lot of different options available. And they make it easy to get the shield off. They have a quick slide. A base plate system allows for shield swaps without uh, any fuss. Another cool feature of the 33-2 is this one-touch drop-down sun shield. Now to get this to deploy, you use this slider on the top of the helmet to bring the shield down. And then if you need to retract it, there's a button right here. You press it and it pops right back up. You're also not going to have any problem with ventilation with the 33-2, uh, largely because there's no chin bar here. So you're going to get lots of air blown up from the underside of the helmet. But HJC takes it a step further and uh, gives you a crown vent that has a few different positions, as well as an exhaust vent out back. So that's going to make it nice because that cool air is going to be able to flow over the top of your head as well. And then if we take a look inside, there's a silver cool liner. Uh, it's moisture wicking and antibacterial, and you can remove that, wash it if things get a little bit too funky in there. Another nice thing is if the cheek pads and crown liner as they come aren't quite right for you, HJC has lots of different sizes available that will fit inside the 33-2. And if you want to ditch the face shield altogether and go full open face, uh, HJC does provide a detachable peak visor at purchase. So we've got an extra large example here today. That's my usual size, so I'm going to pop this on and see how it feels. So the interior liner in this is pretty nice. Uh, it's not the it's not the most cushioned, uh, the, the the most plush interior liner we've ever come across. But this is a price conscious helmet. I'm a long oval head shape, uh, and the fit wasn't quite right for me. There was just a little bit of space up here where the the crown liner wasn't making contact with my head. But for you intermediate oval, round oval folks out there, you know the the fit on this is likely to be pretty good. And it didn't seem like too much of a fuss to find the slider for the drop down sunshield either. It might take a little bit of getting used to, especially if you are more accustomed to the placement on the left hand side that most drop down sunshield helmets have. But all in all, if you're looking for a, an open faced helmet that, that gives you some options, the IS-33-2 uh, seems to be a pretty good value. I can personally attest to the fact that having a face shield on an open face helmet like this uh, can be a lifesaver. There was one particular occasion I was out in a, in a lid similar to this one and I could see the rock kick up from the back tire of the car in front of me, come straight at my eye and if it wasn't for this, man, I'd have been having a real bad day. But how about you? You know, if you're in the market for an open face helmet, I mean, do you want to deal with this face shield at all or, or are you looking for that, you know, true wind in the face feel? Go ahead and tell us your preferences in the comments. And if you want to get your hands on an HJC IS-33-2 helmet, Follow the link in the description to ridersdomain.com. We've got a bunch of different color options, uh, sizes, you know, pricing information there, everything you'll need. If you know anybody that's been looking for an open face helmet with these kind of features, share it on your social channels. And be sure to subscribe to Riders Domain for more products, spotlights, and motorcycle reviews.